City car driving. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. City car driving, realistic car driving simulator which will help you master the basic skills of the car driving in various traffic conditions with plunging into the environment. What? With plunging into the environment most closely resembling the real one. With plunging into the environment most closely resembling the real smart traffic unpredictable pedestrians and sudden dangerous situations will not let relax and will maintain the atmosphere of the real road setting and the full range of weather conditions rain snow fog ice and different time of day will help you prepare for driving in unexpected conditions yes guys this is a car driving simulator and um i've tried this with the rift and i've tried this with the steering wheel and pedals and the gear stick and it is great fun with that great fun i've also tried it without a steering wheel pedals and a gear stick and it is no it is if you don't have a steering wheel and pedal system bye if you do have a steering wheel and pedal system hi if you don't have an oculus rift bye if you do have an oculus rift hi if you have a vive goodbye if you have a rift hi basically guys what i'm trying to say is this this game doesn't really do it with a keyboard as you'd expect but with a steering wheel it is really good fun my steering wheel is the ferrari gte 300 and it's set up no problem whatsoever it was just first time in there rebind the controls and away we went um, it has full oculus rift support i set the oculus up away it went no problem whatsoever uh recentered me position and i was away with with that um it's good fun with or without the the vr support um but with the vr support it is some it transforms the game it is the closest i've ever been to driving a car in real life it is just incredible you you actually think there's other people in the other cars actually looking at you i was sticking my fingers up at people on the footpath thinking they were real i was staring at a girl's ass guys as i was driving along because it just however however all that aside let's not get too emotional about that yeah no let's let's let, let, let's get a bit emotional about that because guys there's nothing like just going mental in this game just taking the fastest car you can get just driving like an absolute bell end around the city center and just knowing that a crash isn't going to hurt you it is just brilliant fun trying to handbrake turn around corners swerving in and out of the oncoming traffic pipping your horn at everybody running red lights trying to run over pedestrians which you can't which is a big big you should be able to run them over you just pass through them mm. but driving around like a complete arse hat is just great fun the most disappointing aspect of this game the most disappointing for me is the awful implementation of the actual progression in this game you have to pass a series of tests and it's bullshit i don't know i mean it's absolute it's garbage it's it's really it really it needs they need to delete it all and start again um i also couldn't find a way of, of driving in the uk um you can only select europe which all means you're driving on the wrong side of the road uh so it was a bit it was a bit guys i still don't know why i'm getting penalized half the time the, the road layouts are not quite right it's not good enough to actually say hey these are a series of tests you have to pass to show your competence to drive a motor vehicle the, the game isn't good enough to do that so it's a bit it's a bit shit um i didn't really enjoy the progression of it at, at, at all um in fact after 10 minutes of trying to progress through the game i ended up just dropping it down a gear flooring it and just going mental in free mode which thankfully it has free mode it also has nighttime fog and different weather which is all just meh to me um it does change things but you know my second biggest gripe is the small area that you get to drive in and the kind of lackluster areas that they are it's not like um forza or anything like that and it should be it should be at least four times bigger than what you get it's 
you know it, it's just a little bit there's not enough variety of roads in it it's all kind of same stuff a couple of roundabouts a few crossroads and a few bit areas to park and lots of sharp lefts and sharp right bends it's all kind of like on a grid system there is like a bit of a sweeping country road that you can go down but that just comes to an abrupt dead end uh, it goes nowhere and you have to turn around and come back so it was underwhelming for 1899 it's a very difficult game to call because you've got this amazing experience that i wish everybody could have where you're sitting into the in the car with vr you feel you're in the car and it drives brilliantly i mean it drives really good the force feedback's a bit hmm, but it does drive well with the steering wheel and pedals you actually feel like you're in a car and it's just a shame that everybody can't experience that because it, it is something to behold but as far as a game's concerned it's just it just lacks it just lacks it for me i mean it does have damage but it's just cosmetic it, you know you don't wreck your car uh, there's no real consequences for crashing other than you can't progress and then when i look at what cars you can get if you do progress they're pretty wank anyway you know a camper van and a few stuff there's a lexus i think and it's it's just it just doesn't have that je ne sais quoi you know Foreign. but it just it, you know what i'm saying it just doesn't have it just doesn't have that x factor that i want but in its you know in its kind of defense what i will say is out of all the simulator games that i've ever played this drives better than any of them it really does drive very very well scarily well you actually feel like you're in a car and for that reason i'm gonna say if you are after if you are after a driving simulator just to experience that then yeah go on go and buy it if you want a deeper game than that then no it isn't it isn't worth a buy at this current price which is a shame it could be so it's one of them games that just could be so much better than it is it's like they've put all the effort into the actual driving and very little effort into where you actually drive and that's a shame that's a that's a bit of a shame i would like to see police in this you know i would like to see it a little bit more realistic i'd like to see the the, the city a bit better the roads a bit more diverse an improvement on the graphics would be nice as well it looks very unity um i don't know what the engine is for this but it certainly looks unity to me it's it's a bit so there you go guys i can't possibly thumb this up for the price and for what you get but man it is just so much fun to drive around especially going mental uh, and with the oculus rift on bloody hell it is awesome experience but that's not enough i want a good game as well